Finance Committee meeting will come to order. This is the being done by Zoom by order of the governor and the state of Massachusetts allowing Zoom meetings for the government. Um, we'll begin with a uh, vote to approve the minutes that were sent out for the last meeting. I just take a motion for that. Motion to approve the minutes from February 21st, I believe was the date. That's correct. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Councilor Conniff? Aye. Councilor Gomez? Aye. And Councilor Riss says aye. We have no public or the mayor here, so we'll get right into it. CPA recently approved the $15,000 out of its historic preservation fund for the phase two city archival records. As you all recall, Barbara showed us everything in the old town hall, which is what this will pay for. Inventory index, reboxing of archival items, separate out records that can be destroyed and create a database for archival records. This is all in Old Town Hall and the total of this project is 65,000 with 50,000 coming from the city, which the council has already approved. We have in our budget at the CPA, which approved this by the way, unanimously, um, $1,104,382. So there's plenty of money in the budget. Councilor Riss, can you say that number again so I can put it in minutes? $1,104,382.05. Thank and you. Historic preservation account, which is part of that overall, is $124,888. So this $15,000 will come out of that. Okay, thank you. Barbara showed us the pictures. This is necessary. So this is all just. Uh, a rehash of the same thing. Anybody have any questions for Barbara? I, I, I do. Just I just want to add to that. I um I I also went to the historical commission, um, and they approved it unanimously as well. Okay, that's good. And this will start pretty soon. Uh, yeah, we're gonna start in April. Not sure okay. when in April, but. Hello, Jen. Well, does the counselors have any questions? No, um, well, yes. <laughs> and it's not really a question so much as, so Barb, this is, is this the same archivalness that you gave us the slideshow of, of all the stuff yes. in the basement? Okay, so this is to, to really begin that cataloging and all of that. So what, what we did with the project was um, we, we kind of split it in two pay, parts as far as the payment. The fifty thousand dollars that the council approved is going to get us going for this building, and then because most of the older stuff is over in the town hall, um, that that's why we're going for CPA funds for the, um, the the older records that are over there. It's all the exact same project. They're just they're going to start here and then work their way right over to the the town hall. It's the exact okay. same thing. Perfect. Thank you, Barb. And this money specific to the town hall, or do you just use what all the sixty-five thousand as you need to? We're, you know, basically it's just going to be the the company. He said he thought that that split would be pretty close, but it, you know, it made it. You know, we may have some left over here that'll go to the town hall. We're going to have to. Um, we're we're probably going to want to have them do some of the record destruction after we've gotten permission, and um, hopefully. Yeah. So, That'll so, be part of this budget, or do you need to? No, we we should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Very good. Anything, Omar? No. Well, okay. Okay. Well, uh, I'll take a motion to approve fifteen thousand dollars from the Community Preservation Act funds. So move. Second. The dog seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, we have any further discussion? Hearing none, Councilor Connor. Aye. Councilor Gumbers. Aye. Councilor Rich says aye. Barbara, you're done. You can go home. Okay. Thanks, All right. Barbara. Going home. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Chief Norris is here. Chief, you're on mute if you want to unmute yourself. A lot of little items on this, and I'm not going to read them all until we have to. Um, by the way, this is up for public hearing in our next meeting, too, so you should come to that. Um, and it's coming out of cannabis stabilization. I like that anytime we can use those funds. This is catching up, I am assuming, on budgetary items that are underfunded. Am I correct? Yes, that's correct. 
Okay, so when we did the budget, we knew we, we had this problem with overtime and we're having the problem with all these line items that we knew that we might catch up. Jen shaking her hand, yes. Okay. Uh, obviously, we need to do these things. What is fire equipment? Is that small items for the fire department? From under the fire equipment for $5,800, $3,000 of that would be allocated towards annual hose testing as required by the national standards. Okay. And 28, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, $2,800. Um, I'm sorry, Dan, I'm looking at Council Rest. I'm looking at a different wrong line item. Fire equipment, $1,500, that's for two sets of gear. Um, I had to order a new set of protective gear for me. Um, that was ordered back in August, and that just came based on some of the um, delays in manufacturing. Um, that just came last month. And then I spoke with the mayor. We're anticipating hiring three new employees for three vacancies we currently have. So one set will be for me one set will be for another one of those new employees and then we will have to purchase two new sets of gear after july 1st which the mayor is aware about okay all righty i don't i see the maintenance agreements so that's with for the trucks or something you have or agreements for other the maintenance agreement that's actually ems driven um, again, back in September, at that time, the department only had one automated CPR machine and one power load system for their ambulances. So what happened is, for, the, for example, with that one automated CPR machine, they would actually have to leave that on the middle of the apparatus floor and they would have to guess if they would actually need it or not on a call and bring it back and forth and share it among the ambulances. We were able to um, work with uh, Jen and the mayor and the financial team to get two more automated CPR machines. So we now have one on each ambulance and we were able to get two power load systems. So now every ambulance has a power load system. So that does a couple things. Number one, it standardizes the care provided across the city consistent on each ambulance. And the other thing, which I think is more significant, it reduces our profile profile and vulnerability for injuries. That's what when, I see, yeah. When, when you look at um, injuries across the country in the fire service, most of them uh, pertain to lifting injuries. And unfortunately, the American public isn't getting any lighter, unfortunately. And to have this technology now on every ambulance is a huge uh, benefit in terms of liabilities for the city. But the cost of that on the other side is in order for upkeep and maintenance and to make sure they get serviced properly, that's what that additional cost is there going forward. So they they were paid for with current funding in your budget and these are maintenance agreements you need to add because you didn't uh, have those obviously with the funding of buying those up. So. Exactly. So the agreements that were had initially for the one CPR machine and the one power load uh, system, those expire April 30th. So this increase will get us through to next April and it will uh, wrap in those additional units that we bought. Okay. That's good. That's all the questions I have. Councilor Connor. Ah, uh, you're muted, Peg. I can't read lips. I'm working on it. <laughs> I don't. Um, Chief uh, Norris and I have talked about this in the past, so I'm pretty well versed on um, what the needs are for these. I think he's talked about it a number of times with uh, a number of us, and I feel pretty confident that these are things that have always needed to be part of the budget and for reasons that we won't go into, they weren't. And so I'm very comfortable in making these um, these appropriations so that we can get the fire department up to where it needs to be. Forgot to ask this, Chris, will this get us through to the end of the year? 
Based on the current projections, this is our goal is to get us through the end of the current fiscal year. Um, I told this committee the same thing back in the fall time with the $130,000 transfer. And since that transfer, we're tracking good. But again, with those unanticipated expenditures, right after that transfer was done, I had two two people put on military deployment for COVID. Yeah, you told me that. So yeah. that was over $8,000. And then um, I have another one that just got deployed for three weeks again out to Las Vegas. And then the other one is we had a pretty significant fire last week at Church Street. And I pulled out the exact cost just from that one isolated incident. And that was $2,200 just for that one four hour incident. That's all. Um, so those are few and far between those unanticipated expenditures. But based on our projections right now, this will get us through to June 30th. So $2,200 over and above the normal cost of a call like that. Right. When I, when I brought that appropriation forward for 135000 that was brought forward with the projections just for regular normal shift coverage. Not for fires or anything. Exactly. But right now, um, as long as I maintain a payroll period of $7,000 or less, um, to give you an example, this last pay period, over time was $5,800. So as long as our projections fall under $7,000 per pay period, we're gonna be in good shape for overtime. So we, we are keeping, obviously we're keeping an eye on that. Well, you never know when you're gonna have a fire, hopefully we don't have them. And and, and you're right, and we, we obviously don't want those, and, and that's kind of that wild card, uh, but we're certainly watching that and, and managing that within our organization. I have a curiosity that was asked of me since you brought up Church Street. When we do mutual aid, is the city responsible to pay those departments anything? No, one, one of the, the great give and take things about mutual aid, it's truly, it is truly mutual. And you have that reciprocal understanding when they come to our community, they incur that cost. But when East Hampton, again, for fire or EMS goes to another community, we incur that same financial burden. Okay, great. That's very friendly of our communities. I like it. Yep. Master Gomez, do you have any questions, sir? No, I do not. I think it's, it's really clear, and I'm, I uh, agree 100% with Councilor Conniff said about the budget and about the needs of the fire department. I think it's pretty straightforward what the chief is asking and, uh, and what we have in front of us. So uh, I'm in favor of voting for those applications. And I have no problem with it coming from cannabis stabilization because it is easy to rationalize that cannabis has added a burden on our public safety departments. And I believe we could defend that quite easily. So this is good. Uh, it doesn't come out of like stabilization and we don't have any free cash left. So this is good. Good job, Jen. <laughs> uh, do we have any other questions for anybody? Jen, do you have any comments or anything? No? You're good? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have much to add. Chris did a great job. So, <laughs> can you just tell us what's left in cannabis stabilization? And not if you have to spend a lot, an hour finding that. Uh, how much? What's the total amount of this appropriation? I'm sorry. I don't have it. 450. Say that again. 61,450. Yeah. I mean, I think maybe we've taken maybe 300. Thousands been appropriated, if that, out of it. So far. over a million in there, as I recall. Right, 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 right. But that's what I mean is only 3,000 has been taken out of it. 300,000. Yes, 300,000. 300, but that's good. Uh, yeah. All right. I have that figure ready for the public hearing in case anybody asks. Yep. Because people do ask that. I'll take a motion to approve 61,450 for various fire department uh, budgetary items. So move. Second. We have a motion on the floor for 61,450 supplemental appropriation. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Councilor Gomez? Aye. Councilor Connor? Aye. Councilor Rich says aye. This is up for public hearing next meeting. We'll see you both there. And that's next Wednesday, guys. Um, one last thing I wanted to ask um, both of my counselors. On the, we have the standing monthly report, and Jen, maybe you can weigh in on this. I wasn't going to buy, invite our auditor, our temporary auditor, to have to give those reports. And I want to make sure everybody's okay with that. 
Um, if we have a question about our revenue and how it's doing, I think, Jen, can you answer that if that question comes up at the next meeting or anything? Yes, and if you- That's what Val used to do, you know, how, how we're doing with revenue. Right, if you um, let me know what those reports are that she would give you, I know the, the I think she would CC me on them. They were like the receipt balancing. Yeah, I and last month. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I can, I can easily access the information. So. There was a big question two months ago about the building commissioner's funds. Mm. That was playing out. So maybe you could get some information on that. I was curious about that, but um, we're okay with not inviting the temporary auditor. Let's wait until that plays itself out. Correct, Councilors? Yeah, I'm. I'm. In fact, I'm more than in favor of it. I. I think we need to give her some air cover so that she can get the work done. She's down to. It's a staff now of one, and anything we can take on so that she doesn't have to right now, I think, is appropriate. So if you don't mind, Jen, if you don't have to bother her, if you're able to look at the information mm -hmm. and give us maybe a report next meeting on how our, our various revenue sources are doing, mm -hmm. and maybe look into the building commissioner thing. It may take a while to figure out. But. Yep. Okay, thank you all. all right. Motion to adjourn? Yes, motion to adjourn. Second. We have a motion to adjourn. Councilor Gomez? Aye. Councilor Connick? Goodbye and I. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Have a good evening. You too.